Gabriel's Gully is around 4 k's out of Lawrence so um, we're hoping to do a couple of the more walking trails that we didn't get to do and fingers crossed we get to do part of the Clutha Gold Trail cycling trail so um, that's what it's all about at the moment so beautiful little spot we're the only ones here at the moment it has only gone midday so you know maybe we might get some neighbours later on in the day and we've just parked ourselves there by the little pond or lake at Gabriel's Gully and it's all for free so right beside where we're camped at Gabriel's Gully is the start of the Otago Dam track um, so the, the pond or lake behind me here is actually called Grey's Dam. So that was all man-made and it was all part of this huge network and races of um, the water races that helped to sluice all the gold. So the, the information I have, it tells me that the Otago Dam track is around three hours return. So let's see what we can do it in. red face one hour and it looks like we may have reached the dam not one and a half I love it when we knock the time off a sign brilliant so a Togo dam built for the gold sluicing and like we do feel we've been walking in the middle of nowhere so how does a car on its roof end up down there no idea shall go and investigate now the trail did carry on for about another 15 minutes past where we saw that car wreck and it comes out to a forestry road and you can sort of see glimpses of a large dried up pond looking thing so <laughs> <laughs> we've reached the forestry track it's been an hour and 15 minutes so that means an hour and 15 minutes back so I think we've seen the dam. Hopefully it should be quicker going back because we're downhill. Yeah, downhill going back because man there's some mean climbs on all fours. Me well, anyway. I think with the dam though it's quite muddy so it does fill up with water. It's just our timing wasn't good to see. Yeah, water. it would look very attractive if it was full of water and a beautiful still lake. Not a, <laughs> a big mud <laughs> patch <But>. with a <laughs> upturned car in it. But anyway back we go and in this case it was all about the journey not the destination because it was a beautiful track uh, stream crossings but definitely a dry weather track because there are flood warnings galore so obviously they have flash fl flooding through here not a track I'd recommend to do in the winter we are walking the Gabriel's Gully walking track a loop track that takes about an hour and a half and um, with interpretive boards along the way to describe what went on back in this gully in the 1860s. So we've been walking uphill for around 20 minutes and we've just taken a detour to Pollard's Dam and all the way up we've been um, noticing the water races beside the track now this whole area this whole hill and the whole of Gabriel's Gully for a radius of about 50 kilometers is just a maze of water races and they realized that to get to extract the gold out of the blue gravel which Gabriel's Gully is full of they needed they knew that they needed a load of water so they built all this maze of water races and it says to have gone for around eight 870 odd kilometers just of water races which supplied the Tuapeka goldfields um, and the longest race at the Waipura and Blue Spur race was completed in 1865 and it brought water for a length of 64 kilometers so a massive massive feat over rugged terrain so we've been walking on the track um, and it's been up and over all these old water races <music>
Thank you.